Hey, what's up everyone? Wanted to hop on here, do a quick review of the Top Greener uh, USB uh, integrated outlet here. This is actually a two pack. Uh, two of them here came in the box. And we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing, but we're also gonna show you how to install them using this test outlet rig that I had. Um, I'm not actually installing one into a live circuit in the wall because it's really hard to film something when you're trying to do it in the wall. This gives me a little bit more freedom to uh, kind of move things around and show you how it works. So in the box itself, you get the actual unit receptacle itself, and they also give you a pair of uh, single gang faceplates complete here with uh, with the screws. And um, on the box itself, you've got the two outlets. You've also got a USB-A and you've got a USB-C. And this is a, a 3.6 amp charger, so this is actually a fast charger. However, it will only fast charge one at a time. It will not fast charge two at a time. So that is one thing to know. Uh, I think you can charge one, two on each, or one on each outlet, two at the same time, but there will be a slow charge when you get it into the wall. Now this first USB outlet, everybody knows, but you may not actually have seen the USB-C before. So what that is, it's actually, this is a USB-C like you'd find on, on newer devices, and that'll actually plug right in there directly how that goes. There's no up or down, it can go either way. You saw me just flip it, it goes in either way. So that's what, that's what this one is here. This is a normal USB that you've seen for years. Now, in order to, in order to uh, install this, I have a test box here, but when you're doing this for real, make sure if you are not an electrician, you make sure that you turn off all of the power to the circuit. I don't want anybody getting zapped because they watch this video. If you're uncomfortable, again, turn the power off, but if you're really uncomfortable, make sure you contact an electrician. Uh, it's not a whole lot for them to come out and install an outlet itself. Now on the box itself, when we, before we get this installed, we've got this green on the bottom here. This is actually your ground. You're gonna wanna actually uh, set this up first whenever you're setting this up. So you set your ground up first, and then we've got our, then you've got your neutral. This actually will go to the white wire. I'll show you in a second. But this neutral here goes to the white is this chrome. And then you've got this gold, um, kind of this, this gold screw here. This is actually your hot wire. The easy way for me to remember, because I'm here in, up here in Pennsylvania, is the Steelers are black and gold and they go together. That's how I remember it here. But how these actually will uh, will go in might be a little bit different. You're actually, unlike most outlets, you're not gonna wrap this around the screw. If you see this little brass plate here, this is actually designed for things to actually, for the ground to actually slip in there and then it's actually be held on by compression. So that's gonna slip in there. And then again, I'm gonna try to film this, get this all on camera. Um, you're gonna get your, your, your screwdriver on there and then you're just gonna make that real good and tight. When that's there and that's good and tight, make sure you give it like a little, give it a little pull that way that you know that it's in there. And again, let me, uh, let me flip this around because this has your black and gold. Now for your neutral and your hot, it's a little bit different. If you look in there, I'm gonna see if I can get this here on the camera. You'll actually see two little holes in there, uh, in the plastic. And I got kind of a shadow on fight. Oh, right there. There you go. You'll see those two little holes. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to insert your wire. Make sure if you, if you have a half turn on there, you're going to have to, uh, you're actually going to have to straighten that out, but that goes right in there that pushes in. And then while it's in, you're just going to take your screwdriver and then you're all you're going to do is tighten it down until it's good and snug, give it a pull. And now that's going to be in there. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Now, ideally what you want to do, and I did this on purpose for the video, uh, you don't want to have any, uh, any copper here showing for safety. So if, if you have something like this, where everything's pushed all the way in and you've got this little uh, this little like half bit, you wanna go and cut your wire down a little bit so that this, ideally you want this, uh, this insulation to go right up to the plastic so nothing here is exposed, especially on the black hot wire. But again, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna, we're gonna press on. When we're done there, when you've got everything all connected, you've got your ground, your hot and your neutral, what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna push this down and this is easier when it's in the wall because you've got something solid to press against but you're gonna basically just kind of push that in and you'll see the little hole here at the top of the box. That's where that screw goes. You're basically gonna push it down so that, so that touches and you're gonna start here with your screwdriver. What I like to do is I like get one or two threads on there on the top, go to the bottom. Again, it's easier when it's in the wall because you've got something solid to press against. Get that one in there. Come down here, I get one or two threads started and then what I'll do is I'll just kind of give it a shove to the end of the box and then just tighten down the screws till they're till they're done 
When that's done, it's gonna look something just like this. You're gonna have this here in the box. They, they actually, these are ovals, so if you wanna actually get it right, if, the, if your box wasn't installed correctly, again, this is kind of floating, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but that's kind of how you adjust your box so that it works fine. Then when it comes time to put our faceplate on, uh, these little screws that you see here in the faceplate, they actually go into these holes here in the middle. And uh, but you'll see how this just kind of fits on over the top. And then it's a flathead screwdriver to, uh, to put the, put the faceplate on. And then when you're done with those screws, it's going to look something like this. You're going to have your, you're going to have your faceplate on. You're going to have your device in here and you're going to have your two USB outlets here inside the wall. Now it's very important. This is a joke, but you should never uh, line these two up to the same. It doesn't matter whether you do them. Some people like to line them up the same. Some don't, but um, once that's good there, you're done. Now this is, uh, I've, I've actually used these on other outlets. They're, um, they do charge well. They're very reliable, as reliable as an outlet can be. But the little TR that you see here stands for tamper resistant. So if you've got kids, little fingers and forks and knives and stuff can't actually fit into these. So there's no need for the, uh, no need for the baby plugs. Overall, it's a good product. I'd recommend it at anybody's house. Hey, real quick, if you like what you see in this video and you want to purchase one for yourself, I've left links to everything here in the description. And if you want more no-nonsense, no BS product reviews, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the, uh, hit the bell so you don't miss one.